Continuing on with our mix and quick tip series, we're gonna dive into the bass this time. We began with a full rhythm section last time, guitars, bass, and drums. And since we've already gone over the guitars and we'll save the drums for next time, we'll focus on the bass. In this example, we have a bass DI and an amp. You can hear the differences right away. This is a cleaner, darker sound. So with the DI signal, I'm gonna use a combination of the Oxford suppressor and the inflator. Now first we'll go up to the suppressor, which isn't just for DSing, it actually sounds great on bass. Now there's a couple of cool presets in the bass treatment folder. What I'll do is listen to a couple of different ones. This one's called Sub Bass Makeup. It actually can help push the sub levels. It makes it nice and smooth. The next one is Bass D Boom, which will help me selectively pull down some of the lows. Now you can see it's only pulling down the frequencies between say 20 hertz and 134 now. Another preset I like to use is called Bass D Twang, which will help me pull down the highs. By grabbing the handle you can stretch the frequency range out. I'm trying to suppress some of the pick noise. Makes it very smooth. But what I'll use on this one is the Sub Bass Makeup. So I'll go back to the folder, call up Sub Bass Makeup, and let it kick in some of the lows. Now I'll use just a touch of inflator as well. Adding a little bit of volume and a little more punch. Very simple. Bypass them. Now I'm not making dramatic differences, but mixing is often about subtle differences. Let's move to the amp. On it I have some EQ, dynamics, and inflator. So let's first bypass them. There's our clean signal. With the EQ, I just want to roll off a little bit of the highs. I'm just going to sweep this filter. I'll just roll it off at 12 dBs per octave. I want to sweep some lower mid cuts as well. But let's put it in the mix and see where we're at. Okay, we're getting there. So I'll put the dynamics back in as well as the inflator and we'll go and adjust the dynamics. Open it up, check where we were at. Okay, it's just a subtle touch making it a little smoother. Let's adjust our threshold. Good, it's hitting just a little bit. Here's some makeup gain to compensate for the compression. You can also make it a softer knee so it's a smooth compression and I'll add some warmth feature. It's a little 5% extra on the bottom. Now let's bypass the inflator. And we'll push it up for a little more pick attack. Maybe add a little more gain. Make sure we don't clip the output. Put both bases in. And hear it in the mix. Check our rhythm section together. Put the reverbs in. Keep making compensations, a little more volume. We'll bypass. We're not doing dramatic changes with these plugins. We're just gonna make it fit the mix better. Let's put them in one at a time. really about the cumulative effect of all of them and how it sounds in the mix. Let's put it together with the guitars now. Sometimes I'll pull the bass down and just readjust from scratch. That's nice and punchy. Pull some of that DI down, a little more amp. Go full mix. Let's just push it towards the end and take it from there. Sometimes I even offset the bass a little bit to the right to make room for the kick drum like this. Just a touch, almost like it's in a live room. So there's a few subtle effects on bass to help get it to punch through the mix.